Instantly out of focus, f*** this camera. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to another camping video. It has been quite a while. Um, I thought I'd have this video up ages ago, but I'm only now getting out. Um, it's been about five weeks since I've done my last camp. I think it's about a month, I think a couple of days ago since I last put a video up. But anyway, here we are. So today, I was supposed to be doing an abandoned house, but I wasn't really feeling that. So today we are testing out a newer tent I got. I haven't actually had a, hasn't had a road test yet. It's a small backpacking tent. It's basically the one I had, but if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been constantly complaining about it not quite being long enough. So this is the XL version of that. So it means in theory I still have enough space, head to toe to lay out properly. It's a little bit taller, a little bit wider. And it's a nice olive drab and black colour, so it should uh, blend in everywhere. But uh, yeah, let's not waste some time and get straight to it. So I am back into my faithful forest. A um, bit less tree cover these days, obviously with the weather. I'm also out a good bit earlier because the light is fading quick these days. Um, on my last video, it was getting dark at about quarter past eight, whereas now it's getting dark at about quarter past six. So I have a much smaller window to get things done. I've also got what I think is the worst packed bag I've ever come out with. I am, um, Nicola actually dropped me off to the forest just to save me a bit of a walk. Um, because I was going to cycle, but she was like, I'll take you. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so I just stopped off at the shop to grab the stuff for my dinner and all. And uh, I had the camp camping bag in the boot. Opened it up, our car's quite small, so the bag didn't quite fit in. So I was like, just shoving stuff in the top. And it was all just squished in there. And then when I put it on, I was like, oh, this is like packed so bad. But at least not a far to go. Here we go, we're going off the path now. I like this forest because I've said in a few videos that I've always liked an area that I could use as like a staging area for different types of equipment. And this is basically it. So it's handy in that way. When we're exploring, I come across this. Like, there scumbags, there's also all this as well. There's a load of piled wood, but there's also just rubbish everywhere, man. People really are the worst, I hate it. But the spot I liked was back down there. This is a nice spot, but I don't like how much crap is lying here. So I feel like too many people come here. So I think I'm going to go back to that spot I liked, because also there's some nice light there. I'd also like to be in the light, because it won't come up on camera, but it's quite dingy here. I don't really like that. <coughs> oh, that's a good start. Oh, well. I found my spot, this is quite nice. It's nice and bright. I'm slightly uh, elevated from the paths around me. I think I should be quite hidden away once I've got everything set up. But yeah, so there's a lot of twigs here. So I'm gonna get all that out of the way and then we'll get this new tent up, see what we think. Okay. So here she is. So this is the Blackthorn 1 XL uh, tent by Highlander. So as I've briefly said, you have seen my other tent I had and it was a Highlander one man backpacking tent. And I really like that tent, but as I say, it's just a little too small. Obviously when I got it, I didn't really think about that. Obviously being quite new, uh, not that I'm really know much more now, but obviously with being new, I didn't really think about the inside like yes it was technically long enough for my size but the bottom of it gets very small so when you lie your feet in it you've no space 
and also the inner was like right in my face. So this is basically the same style of tent, but slightly bigger in every direction. So the original tent bag maybe would have stopped about here and was slightly smaller. But I mean, this is still pretty good. Um, where is it? It has, I think it's waterproofness is 2000, so it's not the best, but the other one was the same and I never had a problem. And if I ever had really terrible, terribly heavy weather, I'd always throw a tarp over the top. But we're in Northern Ireland. Yes, we get plenty of rain, but it's never, it's not very often torrential. So this should be enough for my needs. But um, yes, yeah, so I thought this video would be a bit of a review, a bit of a test, but quite informal. Like I haven't been gifted this or anything. Um, but yeah, so let's see what it's like. Okay, this thing goes up, literally the exact same way. So inner first, um, and it's feeding the poles through both ends. Could not be simpler. Although one thing I don't like, not that it matters really in the forest, but for stealth camping, very bright, luminous zips probably isn't a good idea. But sure. Yeah, already, that is a lot bigger. I mean, I still couldn't sit up in it, but that's not really what it's for. Right, I think it's time we went on a little house tour. Well, I love this. Also not in it properly yet, but like, I have a lot of space in here. It's much wider. My head isn't like touching the, the fly sheet. I've got acres of space at the bottom. This is actually fantastic. Is this the first tent I actually fit in? Oh my God. What a treat. Anyway, let's get the rest of this stuff sorted. Sorry, let's give you a better idea of how much space is in this thing. I'll show you properly once I'm inside it. But yeah, there's a lot of space. A lot of headroom. I love it. The other thing I like about... <clears throat> the other thing I like about it is um, how dark it is. So it's almost like having a blackout tent. Because anyway, in a, in a regular sort of tent, um, you wake up when the, when it's light. At least with this, shouldn't be as bad. I hope. I know normally I would show you my process of getting everything out of my bag, but if you've watched any of my previous videos, really none of my equipment has changed. Um, what has changed? Yeah, literally nothing. That very bright bag in there is a waterproof coat in the most unstealthy uh, colour imaginable. But other than that, all my equipment is largely the same. I am in two minds on whether to put the tarp up over the area I'm sitting in because there's meant to be some bad weather coming. Well, I say bad weather, basically rain. As much as I love this tent, I need to cook and stuff soon. And I'm under some reasonable cover, but I don't know whether to chance it. Or should I just sling the thing over the top? I don't know. No, I guess I'll see. Okay, there we go. 
It's not a great job, but it'll do. Just in time too, because it started to drizzle, so it was a good call. I made a good decision, finally. This is nice. Just got enough cover here. It's doing that annoying kind of mizzly drizzle that really gets you soaking wet. So obviously all rain gets you wet, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm gonna get some dinner in a minute. But I just want to quickly address something. Well, make, that makes it sound very formal. A few people ask me about this case. This is a GoPro case. But basically in here is where I keep my charging stuff. So I've got a GoPro lead or USB-C lead basically and then a lead for my iPhone. And then I've got, this is a little GoPro battery charger. And then I've got the battery charger for the Canon. And all those obviously plug in to my battery pack. And then I've got, jeez. Oh, and then I've just got spare batteries. But that's literally all that's in there. But Mr. Paranoid that I am, I always like to keep this stuff in its own separate box, just in case my tent let in water. At least then there's another barrier between my electricals and moisture. <laughs> but yeah. And then I think I've addressed this before, but I film on a Canon G7X Mark II, travel camera, don't get it. And then I've got GoPro Hero 11. This thing's fantastic, I wouldn't be without this. And then just a regular old iPhone. This is an iPhone 11 Pro. It's now a little bit cracked, but sure. But yeah, let's get some dinner on the go. Okay, as if that wasn't obvious enough, we are doing cheese toasties. I've also got tomato soup, and I'll, I do a thing at home where we make cheese toasties and then we like dip, dip it in the soup. But I'm just going to do the toasties for now. And then if I'm freezing my ass off later, I'll maybe make this. But anyway, let's get going. So I got this nutty crust bread because it's tiny and it would pack away better. Nutty crust is a, a brand you only get here in Northern Ireland, I'm pretty sure. And then I got Tesco's finest, cheapest cheese. I got Tesco's finest, cheapest corned beef because it was actually cheaper than ham. And then I got this, a barley malo relish. It's like for cheese and things, but it's so good. It's kind of like a sweet sort of tomato relish thing, but it goes really well. I'm not sure how well it'll go with corned beef, but sure, here we are. And then another layer of cheese to try and glue the entire thing together. One thing I didn't think of is how I'm going to flip this. I have a wooden knife. I guess that's going to have to try and do the job. But I just know whenever I flip it and if it breaks, I'm going to go mad. Because <laughs> that's one of those, like... That's an example of one of my, like, irrational anger things. Like, if I was to flip the toasty and the top of the toasty came off and the whole toasty fell apart, I would see red. But, like, if someone told me... Ah, uh, Craig, you have some sort of terminal illness and you've got six months to live, I'd be like, ah, oh, that's unfortunate. If I drop the remote or stub my toe, crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the heat down a bit because the problem with these little gas uh, stoves is they're literally boiling or cold. There's no in between. So, I mean, considering it's done on a camping setup, this isn't the worst looking. I mean, it's definitely, I've made better toasties in my life, but sure. Mmm. Tell you what though, that's good. The cheese, it kind of fell out, then sort of crusted on the bread. Just kind of crunchy as well. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I've made a lot of terrible things, but I wouldn't say this is terrible. Well, that one went down pretty well, but... 
I have a lot more bread to use. So I'm gonna sit and just make a few more of these and just enjoy the scenery. And I will uh, come back to you when I'm absolutely chock full of carbs. So it's 20 past six, so the sun is starting to set now, so it's getting very dark. Which unfortunately means a lot of this video is now going to be flickery because of the frame rate of the light and the camera and all that crap. So, oh well. But I've eaten, <laughs> I've eaten like three of these toasties and I'm absolutely stuffed. I actually ate pretty much the entire thing of grated cheese. So now I feel actually disgusting right now. So, uh, oh, excuse me. So, yeah, I'm gonna make some tea soon. But, yeah. I also need to sort out the uh, tent. Like, no, sorry, I need to sort out the sleeping bag and all that sort of stuff, but. Right now, I'm just quite content just sitting here. One thing I didn't really think about whenever I was starting my camping channel is the winter weather. I know it's not winter yet, but obviously the light is a real issue now. Like, I feel like I've barely got anything done and now it's getting too dark. And I always like to do do a lot of, like the bulk of my videos in the light, just because the footage looks better. But I suppose that's not really a luxury I can afford now. I think maybe the solution would be is to get a lantern that doesn't flicker the camera so much. I've adjusted the settings on this camera, but it doesn't matter what I do, it, it flickers really bad. There's an anti-flicker on the GoPro, but then the GoPro footage itself isn't as good, so I don't know. But, uh, oh well, it is what it is. But let's get back to the tent and uh, go make a cup of coffee, I think. Sounds like there's about a million birds flying overhead right now. Sure that was a firework as well. <laughs> okay, it is coffee time. Even got a little milk this time. So if you remember from it's a couple of videos ago now, I think, I bought terrible coffee from a petrol station. Well, I still have it. And I feel like I need to use it. So I put enough for like three or four in this and I'm just going to try and get it used up. Um, I've got some milk with me so I can have some tea as well because normally I drink tea with milk. I just thought I'll just buy this. It's not super cold but it'll be cold enough outside. And yeah, that coffee's so bad it probably needs milk to stop it being quite so bitter. But uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I have the torch over there. Um, and it's kind of working out well because it's not it's not actually flickering too bad so this is maybe a bit of a workable solution the only thing i don't like about this is there's so much light being poured towards me and i'm really visible but because that light is so bright i can't really see out at all but i mean it's pretty dark and no one's gonna be walking around the forest now so well i hope okay i've got my terrible petrol station coffee <laughs> Um, so this time I'll, I'll be able to put some regular milk in it. UHT milk didn't help. Drinking it black didn't help. And using regular milk doesn't help either. I said this before, and I don't know why, but this coffee just tastes like sausages. So to go with my horrible sausage coffee, I have... Jupe Milky Way bars from Tesco. I actually had one earlier. So these are, oh my god. Look, look at the size of that. How wide are how small that is? It's like when they call these fun size. It's like, there's nothing fun about that. It's only fun if it's the size of a bus. Let's have two of these. Um, 
So yeah, these are like Milky Way dupes. Um, although I'm pretty sure in America, Milky Way is a slightly different bar of chocolate. But here in the UK, it's basically chocolate with like a white nougat filling. I think in America, it's like a chocolate nougat filling. I think Milky Ways in America are like brown and green. And ours are like, well, ours kind of look like that, like blue cloud kind of vibe, I don't know. But anyway, let's see what these are like. Mm. I haven't had a milk around in a long time. But I feel that tastes like exactly the same. Like from memory, that is exactly the same as Milky Way. Maybe if I had them side by side, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's see what the coffee tastes like with a bit of chocolate as well. Oh, even worse. Ugh. Okay. Hopefully the lighting's okay. It's a bit awkward in here. Um, I'm just gonna sort out my sleeping bag situation. So as usual, I have the two sleeping bags. So I've got this little like um, mild weather one. And then I've got my, my big thick boy. So I think I've said this in a few videos now. What I've started doing is um, getting into the main sleeping bag, the big sleeping bag. And then I've been sort of opening the other sleeping bag and putting that over the top of me a bit. Because I wriggle around a lot, and I always end up half coming out of the sleeping bag. But at least when the other one's kind of over me a bit, it kind of works. What I really need is an envelope sleeping bag, so I can open it right out like a quilt. But both of mine are mummy bags. But I should get an envelope one, because they're always really cheap. And it'd be kind of handy, I think I'd almost prefer to have like two envelope sleeping bags and just lie on one and then put the one over me but I don't know in terms of warmth how good that would be I also find it nothing short of a miracle I've had this blown up airbed oh, I always call this an airbed I've had this blow up camping mat that I bought from Amazon for like 15 quid I think I don't know it was really cheap and I've never ever had a puncture and it's been stuffed in the bag it hasn't been put away properly like I just don't understand how it's lasted so long I mean some people might wonder why I haven't improved my uh, equipment that much and I feel like I have in places but sometimes I just like can't warrant the price or I can't like justify the spending on it but I think the real test for my cheaper equipment is going to be obviously coming into the cold weather. Because obviously in the warm weather you can get away with having cheaper stuff. But now, now when it really matters, you know when it really matters how good your equipment is because of the heat. You know, maybe this is when I'll come up short. Who knows? Just to give you an example of how much more space I have, in the last tent, this um, sleeping mat, mat, this sleeping mat wouldn't fit. So this head section, and then the fit and the end would be touching. Whereas I've got a space at both ends with this one, and also this area here, this bit was like touching the top of my head, and I have a nice clearance there. I have really good clearance here. So I already know this is plenty big enough and it packs up nice and small. What a win. So I have the cheap uh, mat, the air mat, and then the sleeping bag. So I should be nice and comfortable. And we're pleased to know I've put this thing the right way around. In my last video, I stupidly put this foil down like a jackass. So yeah, there we go. One thing has been rectified. <laughs> now I know earlier about four million birds flew over me, or at least it certainly felt that way. But still, did one of them have to take 
a big dump on the tent. <laughs> It's a good thing I put that up really, wasn't it? Because if that wasn't there, that would have been straight on my head. Me and Nicola have been talking a lot about burnt toast theory recently. And uh, that's definitely an example of it. So basically it means like a small action can have different consequences for your day. Maybe that's a bad description. So for example, you burn your toast and that makes you late for work. But because you were late for work, you miss like a massive pile up on the highway or something like that. This is like a less uh, dramatic version of that. <laughs> I found a squatter. <laughs> Anybody know what this is? It looks like something that blends into twigs anyway, or into leaves, sorry. It's very well camouflaged, looks amazing. Hi guys, welcome to the inside of the tent. Now, I've never had this much space at the end of a tent before, like my feet. If I go for like that, I can touch the ends. But like, I've never had this much freedom of movement in my life. This is great. Also, the other thing, I forgot to charge my lamp, so that's now run out of battery. So now I just have this little torch, which for some reason... Wait till you see, I'll turn it off, right? Now watch what happens, I try and turn it back on. That's me hitting the button. Ugh. And then, literally, there's no pattern. I've took it apart. I've pressed on it. There must be a loose wire somewhere, but it just won't come back on for ages. And then it just randomly will. Hey everybody, it's about 20 past nine, I think. Yeah, half nine, 20 past nine. I'm currently just boiling some water to make a cup of Earl Grey tea because I'm terribly English. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a lot happening here, lads. It's about 10 degrees, so it's getting a bit nippy, but in the tent it's lovely. It's quite nice and cosy. But, uh, yeah, it's pitch black and very quiet at the minute. Just going out a little half past ten at night and walk around the forest, as you do. This torch makes everything look even more terrifying. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of bats. Well. Sorry, that sounds stupid. I've been seeing flashes of what I assume are bats. But... There's the back of the tent. Look at that mushroom going on the tree. Is that, I mean, is that a mushroom? Type of fungus anyway, isn't it? I've never seen a mushroom grow on a tree like that. Wait, is that a can? Is that a can? That looks like a drinks can up there. What the hell? Hang on. Is that what that is? That looks like a crushed can, doesn't it? Let me get a better look at this, actually. What the hell? Surely someone hasn't. Because it looks like... It looks like it's been crushed around the tree. Hang on, look around this side. Oh, I can't see it from here. Where was it? Oh, there it is. It is! What the hell? Look at this. Hang on, sorry, it's just kind of, oh, it's kind of fumbling it because I'm doing it with two hands. Oh, I've only got one hand, but look at that. How the hell has someone done that? Someone has crushed the can over the top of the tree branch. 
has that been thrown up there and got stuck and then has slowly corroded and kind of like corroded around the tree? What the hell? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Alright guys, I am in my sleeping bag. I am actually quite nice and cosy here to be fair. Um, yeah, I've got plenty of space down there. Um, yeah, this should, this should be quite a good night. Um, sorry there wasn't a whole load of footage. Obviously, as I was saying, it's kind of hard with the much darker evenings now, but sure. But yeah, as usual, if anything interesting happens in the middle of the night, I'll be sure to pick up the camera. But uh, until then, guys, I will see you in the morning. It still looks like night time, but there is like no light getting into this thing at all. But uh, I actually slept pretty well, to be fair. Um, I had to get up at like 5 in the morning for a pee, because for some reason every time I camp, my bladder is just like... Just useless, I don't know why. But yeah, no, I slept alright. Actually, this tent is very, very cosy. And it was nice and warm. I didn't actually need the other sleep bag, and the end is actually here behind me, so I'm using it as half of a pillow. But yeah, let's get up and uh, get the day started. Okay, I'm up. I'd be in pretty stealthy colours if it wasn't for this uh, bright orange hat. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, having a little dander around. I was looking back on the GoPro footage and I noticed just before I got up, as it was still dark, someone must have been walking around with a torch because you just saw it flash past very briefly. Um, I always have this funny thought where, could you imagine if I'd done a night lapse on the GoPro and then in the middle of the night someone just came and just like stood next to the tent. <laughs> You know, like in Paramount Activity, where they just kind of, they stand still for hours, so it looks like they're kind of twitching like this, but they're just standing there. Let's see if that doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Um, let's get some coffee and some breakfast. So I'm just waiting on my water boiling now. Uh, so I'm just going to have a coffee, and then I've got one of these incredibly boring um, Tesco's porridge oat things you add hot water to. They're simple, they're quick. It's like 47p. They're, not, they're filling enough, but I'll probably go home and actually have a proper breakfast after this. But this'll do. Starts me from dying, at the very least. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, my hands are freezing. Um, what was that? That's a weird noise. Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I just want to thank everybody for... Uh, subscribing to the channel, all the comments and likes and all that stuff. I've normally said that by now, but I forgot. Um, I'm now over 700 subscribers, which is crazy. And um, yeah, it's ticking over nicely, so I really appreciate everyone for following me. Um, it's kind of mad, because really, because I went on holiday, and then since I've been back, it's been hard to get the time. So I've only really uploaded one video in like a two month period. But yeah, even with that being said, the subscriber counts just sort of slowly ticked up, so. Yeah, it's good. So, uh, for some reason, quite a few of you like me. Don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with you all, but I appreciate it all the same. Anyway, I've had my breakfast and all that, so I think it's about time we started packing up, and then I'll give you some thoughts on my new tent.
Okay, just this left to pack away. Um, before I do, I thought I'd just give you some a few thoughts on it. I like it. It's a good tent. Um, ventilation's great, although I did cover it with the tarp, but the ventilation is great. Condensation buildup wasn't too bad inside, all things considered. It's a good stealthy colour. Um, low profile. Small, but I have plenty of space in it. I mean, what more could you really want? I love it. So I think this is going to be my go-to tent. Um, obviously a heavy rain shower will be a test for another day. But, um, yeah, obviously I wouldn't normally put the tarp over the top. It's just because I was in the forest and I could. But obviously when I'm being more stealthy, I wouldn't be able to do that. But, no, this thing is more than adequate for what I need. And I'm very, very pleased. And I got it on a deal in Amazon. So it only cost me... Uh, 60 quid I think, which I think is pretty decent, so one day I'll be buying 400 pound tents, but that won't be for a long time yet. <laughs> in but that was a terrible job Jesus Get me out of here. Alright. We are out of it. Out of it? We're out of there. Uh, that's where my spot was. Haven't left anything behind, which is the way you do it. And let's get out of here. Alright guys, well, that's gonna about do it for that one. Uh, hopefully that video was okay. I know I say that a lot, but that one didn't feel like my best work considering how uh, crap the light was so early, but that's something to bear in mind moving forward. Um, but yeah, as usual, if you like the video, do all that stuff, you know the stuff everyone says. But uh, yeah, thanks for your support guys, and I will see you on the next one, which hopefully won't be as long this time.